All right, guys, Alex here from Prospecting Toolkit. Super excited for this video. Uh, today, we're going to talk about how to scrape um, course creators and info product um, sellers and people of that nature. So, leads, uh, you know, that sell courses and sell info products. Uh, this is in high demand. These guys need help. Um, and uh, you know, this is this is a, a great way to do it. So um, this is, and this is really just one way to do it. There's several ways to do this, and we'll go through some other ways in other videos. But uh, this is a great way to get started. Extremely inexpensive, and um, you know, you can really start reaching out to course creators uh, quickly, and um, you know, start to generate revenue. So um, let's get started. So uh, first, we have prospecting toolkit open. That's what we're going to use to enrich um, our contacts, and I'll show you in a second what that means. We're going to start here uh, by loading up Find Mass Leads. Okay, so uh, this is an app that allows you to look at websites' tech stacks uh, or what technology they're using. Um, they have an AppSumo deal uh, as of the recording of this video. So for forty-nine bucks, you get twenty thousand credits. Um, really, really, really good deal. Um, Built with and uh, Wappalizer and all these other apps, you know, comparably are extremely expensive compared to this. So super inexpensive and I highly recommend checking it out. Uh, it's not perfect, but you know, it, it does the trick um, for the most part. So well, let's go ahead and dive into Find Mass Leads. So um, I'm in here. I've chosen Thinkific. Um, if you choose Thinkific, you also have, you know, Moodle and uh, Teachable, Skill Jar. These are all great ones as well. Um, you know, you have Gumroad. Um, you know, as a tech stack, uh, you have uh, Learn. What is it? Learn Learnable? No, <laughs> I'm I'm tripping right now. Uh, Kajabi uh, is a great one. Um, so you know, you have a lot of uh, you know possibilities for like learning management systems that you can use um, to look into. Now I'm going to choose um, the website languages English. Um, now the website having an email is generally a generic email. So this is not what you want. Um, this is like, you know, an info ad or a hello ad or whatever. And this is like, you know, the worst thing you can cold email ever. So don't, don't use this. You don't need to select this. Um, and then you can choose how many leads you want to get. Um, you know, you can go from 20 to 20,000, um, that lifetime deal, as I mentioned, only goes to 20,000. So you'd use up all your credits here, but, um, you know, I, I go, I went for a hundred, um, just to kind of get a little sampling here and just to, to get started. Um, if you come down here, you have like, you know, the website must have a phone number. Um, this is like, you know, these are some great ways to kind of qualify whether they're really serious and in business and everything. So, you know, if they have a phone number, that's pretty serious. Um, you know, Instagram is a great one for course creators, um, stuff like this, right? So you can choose those YouTube, um, kind of depends on what you're looking for. I kind of left this blank cause I'm, I'm just going off of uh, a couple of their filters. You have page rank. Um, now this is going to be like kind of the SEO strength of the website. Um, so you want to, you know, honestly, if you're going after like more established sites and more established companies, you're going to want to go higher up. So, you know, I went for the top 10 million. Um, you might want to go for the top 500,000. Um, if you're, you know, prospecting for guys that really have money. Um, it, add, you know, on the other side, you can also just go by tech spent. I said spend, they spending something, not zero, but you know, again, you can go for people that are spending, you know, thousand dollars, more than a thousand dollars a month on technology, you know, on SaaS apps and uh, Chrome extensions and, and all that kind of stuff. So you can like really kind of go by this. This is another really good um, filter uh, to kind of just see that, you know, they're making money, they have money, um, they're spending money on technology. Um, and especially if you're promoting like a SaaS app or something, that's a great thing to know. Um, and if you're, you know, doing agency services or something like that, it's also great to know that they, they have a budget, uh, for technology. Okay. Um, I'm going to choose us and uh, I'm going to come down here. It's still searching. Um, I have already started my search. So, uh, we're 35. Oh, okay. So we, we scanned about 35% of the database and we found a hundred leads already. Uh, so that was really fast. And you can see here that, um, here are some of the, um, some of the results. So, you know, organizing guru, love piece and tiny feet. I don't know what all this is, but this is, you know, these are, these are people on, um, you know, selling, uh, courses on Thinkific. And they've all got like real domain names and all this kind of stuff. We, you can see that their page ranks are all like above um, the 5 million, which I set. So again, if you go further than that, uh, it just keeps getting better. Um, you can also look here and see uh, that, you know, we got like advanced dropshipping.com. These are all really good um, situations here. So uh, this gives us a good amount of leads. So now we can take um, all these pages. Um, you know, all these pages that we have, we have five pages leads um, so far, 20 per page. We can go here to export. We can export all the pages into 
a CSV. So when we do this, uh, we're going to get a CSV. Let me see. Oh, uh, expand all. Oh, wow. Okay. So then you can expand them all and see everything that they're using also, which is pretty cool. This is pretty wild. Okay, I didn't actually see that before. Okay, so uh, this is select all pages of leads. I'm sorry, and then you have to export this way. So now we got our CSV, um, and let's go ahead to step two. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the CSV, and uh, let's take a look. Okay, so here we go. So uh, they're showing you the tech stack. Um, they're showing you the text spent. They're showing you some emails here, which are not bad emails on some of these. I can see, you know. Uh, Gary, you know, whatever, but we don't know who these people are. Um, these may be good to fall back on um, if we don't find much, uh, but you know, this is looking pretty good. And, you know, they kind of bundle it all together. It's really hard to, like, run a cold email campaign straight out of here, because look at that. You're just getting all these emails, comma, separated, which is kind of annoying. Um, you got their phone numbers, just in case, some phone numbers. You don't really know where those are coming from. Got their Facebook, that's great. Got their LinkedIn, that's great. Got their Instagram, that's also great. Um, got their Twitter, that's fantastic. YouTube, also cool. Not a whole lot of YouTube. A um, little bit of Twitter, some Instagram, you know. So uh, these are all helpful. The column that we're really looking for is the domain column. This is the most important, okay? So this is what we're going to use. So right now what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead. We're going to go through here. Now, if you wanted to go through and vet these and click on one and check it out and make sure they're a good fit and everything like that, um, that's that's fine as well. You, sh you should do that. I encourage you to do that. But um, if you just want to go for it, let's, uh, let's go ahead and take meal prep on fleek. All right, so we're going to copy. So you saw what I did there. I just grabbed this and you can do this in Excel, Google Sheets, whatever. You just take this whole column, um, not including domain, take this whole column and just copy, uh, command C, copy. Okay. Now we're going to head over to prospecting toolkit and we're going to go into B2B data and we're going to go to B2B contact enrichment. Okay. And we're going to call this um, course creators uh, test. Okay. Okay. Now, um, this is very powerful. Okay. How you can, so, so first off, let's go to this. Um, so we're going to paste the companies. Okay. You can do a thousand per upload. So this allows you to go pretty crazy. I mean, you can get a lot of, um, of data here. So I go ahead and paste this in here. This is already clean. You can see here that if you have like HTTPs and stuff, you might want to clean it, but yeah, these are already pre clean. So you're good to go. Uh, next, you're going to go over here. Now, this is where things get kind of interesting, where you can actually, you can tell the system to give you the maximum contacts that it can find. Um, I find that this is best for actually situations like this, where you're not really sure who to reach out to and you're not really sure, um, you know, whatever. You may want to go after the owner. You may want to go after everybody. Um, it kind of depends, right, on your situation. So I wouldn't, like, pick words in your mouth. It's just, it's all up to, like, what you're trying to do. Um, but for my... Um, I'll do a couple of tests here on this video. So let's first go for maximum contacts and um, I will, I'll just leave this. Um, uh, uh, yeah, I'll just leave this in, in a folder. You can create folders over here so that you have like your different lists in different places. So that's really easy. Uh, cool. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and try this. So I'm going to go ahead and upload the list. Okay. Success. The list was uploaded. And as you can see down here, um, it is running. So there's a hundred total companies, which is correct. And <clears throat> we've got none done yet and no contacts found. So let's just give that a second. Okay, cool. So with maximum contacts, and this is what I'm saying, uh, on these kinds of sites, like for course creators and stuff, generally you're going to try to go for the maximum contacts going for like, you know, specific roles. Like if you were to come here, now you do have that option. You can come here and go CEO, CMO. But the thing is, you know, a lot of these kinds of companies don't really have, like, it's just an owner and you don't really know what their title is. And, um, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of one person kind of companies and stuff like that. So you're not really sure what, what the deal is um so we got 73 um 73 contacts out of 100 which is which is pretty good so let's go ahead and download that csv we can go ahead and open that up right quick okay and here we go so um now there's a few as you can see there's a few where there's a lot of roles and we don't have exact job titles on these people okay so this is like amber and melissa and jamie and becca and i i'm not sure you know who these people are um 
you know, I see that this is a like a licensed psychotherapist. It could be that these are all like employees or something or, or something like that. So um, good to know and, and something to keep in mind. Um, this is also cool because we're seeing that there's like, you know, business owner here. Um, that's one role. Uh, we've got president and CEO. That's one role. We've got owner. That's one role. Um, web developer. Uh, so these gave, you know, these gave us some decent, um, some decent roles, you know what I mean? Um, now there's some that we don't have job titles for. So again, this is one of those things where, um, you know, it depends on exactly what you're trying to do. Um, but like for instance, um, like in a recent blog post we wrote, um, here we've got the waterfall technique. Okay. So something like this, uh, could be helpful here where um, you kind of send an email to all of these roles, okay, and and you don't um, exactly like like break down exactly who you're sending to, um, you know, but you kind of say, hey, do you know anybody that would be interested in this? Do you know anyone that this could help? Do you, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking for, you know, who's in charge over there at uh, Crossman Communications, um, you know, can, can, can you put me in, the, in contact with the right person? Um, you know, these kinds of, these kinds of things. Okay. So I think that personally, uh, would be the way that I would play this, but this is, you know, a really good way to just get a list of, um, you know, of good course creator type of leads. Um, these people are all using Thinkific, uh, which is a learning management platform and they are all, um, you know, basically like running some kind of course. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. Um, that's one really, really good way to do this. Again, if you wanted to get more specific, uh, you could come back into prospecting toolkit. Um, I could use the same thing. I could say a test too, and I could come here and I could go, I could kill these. I could leave CEO. I could say owner. Um, I could say marketing. Okay. These are like keywords. So if it's like it, this marketing would capture marketing manager, uh, head of marketing. Um, so, you know, you can be kind of like a little bit broad, um, owner, founder, things of this nature. Okay. Um, and you know, we can upload that list again. We can go take a look at what happens here. So there's a hundred, um, at the moment, a hundred companies, same thing. And Let's see what it pops out with as far as quantity on the hundred with those, with these exact roles. So again, this kind of shows you, you know, there's not like emails for every single person. Um, but you know, you can get pretty specific and the more specific you get, the less contacts you'll find, but the better the contacts are, right? The other option is using the waterfall technique and getting referred in, um, to the right person. Um, you know, through that process. So out of 100, we only got 11 that have that kind of role. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Again, you're going to get less contacts, but they're going to be a lot higher quality. So here you go. So founder, digital marketing manager. Um, these are, you know, these are people that, these are the people you want to hit up. These are the people you want to contact um, if you're looking for the owners. Um, so yeah, and again, you can do the waterfall technique with this too. You could like write um, to them and say, hey, you know, uh, you know, who's the right person to talk to about X, Y, Z. Um, and, uh, that can get you in the right place. Um, here you got their business email. Um, you're going to want to also verify these. Uh, you can use something like million verifier, or you can use something like never bounce, whatever you prefer. But I definitely would, um, would, would recommend just kind of doing a double check on these emails, making sure they're good. Um, you also have their LinkedIn profiles, not all of them, but most of them. And yeah, uh, you've got some other information, their location, uh, their industry, and their name, which you can see here, like there's some cleaning to do on this. Um, it can't all be perfect. And sometimes people do this stuff on purpose to kind of deter these kinds of things, but you just kind of change a few things here and, uh, and you're looking good. So, um, yeah, hopefully that's clear and, uh, yeah, go out there, uh, reach out to some course creators and, uh, best of luck with your campaigns. If you need any help, I'm always here at alex at prospecting um, or on our, uh, live chat. Uh, down here on uh, on our website. Uh, so feel free to get in touch.